like this video, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get notification of all new videos. Join our free WhatsApp group to get daily latest updates. It's totally free. Best IELTS Preparation Pack. Get it now. Hello guys. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to plan cue card in one minute. The moment we get the speaking booklet to prepare the cue card, number of things come in our mind. Should I describe the actual incident or prepare any sort of story? I'll personally suggest you to share the actual experience of life since in that case you don't need to think much, right? Things will automatically come out. Over and above, you'll feel more confident. So let's start. So our first step is write down tense in capital on piece of paper. So whenever you're going to get piece of paper, the first thing which you are going to do is write down tense in capital. Let me explain this step by giving an example. For instance, if you are getting cue card a person who taught you something important. In this case, taught is mentioned. So this cue card is in past tense. Now what you are going to do is on the piece of paper, First of all, you will be writing past. Now let's move on to step two. Now our second step is note down the bullet points on piece of paper, right? You don't have to write the bullet points completely. Only you have to write the W's. I'm talking about that who, when, where, why, right? Let me again explain this point by giving an example. Our cue card is a person who taught you something important. And our bullet points are who the person is, what he or she is like, what he or she taught you. And the last one is how you felt about him or her. So the first thing which you're going to do is following the first step and write here that cue card is in past tense. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, write down only W's. So from first bullet point, who, then, what, taught, I'm sorry, what, like, what, taught, and last one is, felt, right? Now, what you have to do is, in front of these W's, write down the points, right? Write down that particular word which you're going to cover as a point. For instance, now here, here it is, who? So you can mention friend or father, mother, it's your choice. And when what the person is like, tall, beautiful, in case of mothers, handsome, right? And what that person taught you, in case of if you're taking father, then driving, in case of mother, you can mention cooking or whatever you want to. And the last question is felt, right? How you felt? You can have mentioned that she has done a great job. Then you can further elaborate this point. Clear? So if you're writing bullet points in this way, it will take about 25 to 30 seconds. Right now, let's move on to another step. Now, next step is step three. In this case, what you have to do is try to recall the vocabulary, idioms, proverbs, which you think can be used in this particular topic. Right. So after mentioning, after writing this tense, then covering the bullet points. Now you have some time. So what you have to do is write down vocab specific vocabulary related to this topic then idioms if you know any proverbs 
right so after writing all these things you'll hardly get 10 to 15 seconds right so at that time what you can do is think about general line right so our step four is think about general line now if i talk about general line let me tell you one or two ways for preparing it either you can use proverb for instance if your cue card is related to advice at that time you can mention that advice is cheap right and should be given to everyone or never give advice unasked this is what i believe second way is you can describe the past to present scenario for instance if your cue card is you have to describe about an interesting conversation at that time you can mention that in former times people used to conversate with each other face to face on the contrary the trend has completely changed and now people prefer social media in order to interact with each other right okay guys thanks for watching this video and if you want to score more than seven in speaking then must follow these four steps thanks for watching this video must like our video and share it and don't forget to subscribe our channel